When a population is growing without a limit, we can use this function to model that population's growth. Uh, N sub O would represent our initial population. E is that uh, Euler's number that we've talked about, that natural base. Uh, K is going to be a constant, and specifically that constant is going to be our growth rate, and then T is going to be our time period. So let's go ahead and use this model to uh, answer a few questions about population growth. So in this particular example, we have a colony of bacteria that's growing, and here's the model that's going to uh, predict or measure their population. The first couple questions are going to involve analyzing the uh, function they gave us. What is the initial um, uh, number of bacteria present? Well, remember that N sub O would represent your initial population. So initially, I have 100, and if you check back uh, in the problem, it should give you some kind of units to use. In this case, the population is actually measured in grams, not number of cells. So my initial population of bacteria is 100 grams. Uh, the growth rate then is going to be that constant K. So right there is going to be my growth rate. If I want to change that to a percentage, let's just multiply it by 100. So I get a growth rate of 4.5%. To find the population then, after five days, I'm going to plug five in for my time period. Uh, notice too, back in the original problem, they did tell me that T in this case was measured in days. That's an important thing to check, make sure that your units are matching up. So getting uh, five plugged in for that time, I need to evaluate this equation or this expression. 100 times E raised to the point 0.045 times 5. Uh, using a calculator and making sure that I get all of this uh, in the exponent, uh, I come up with a population after 5 days of approximately 125.23 grams. It's okay to use a decimal in this case because my population is being measured as a weight, so it would make sense to round it. Or to not round it, to round it to a few decimal places. And then my final question asks me to find a time. In this case specifically, I want to know the time it will take uh, for my population to triple. Well, if I begin with 100 grams of bacteria, uh, tripling that means I'm going to end up with 300 grams, obviously. So let's plug in 300 for our final um, weight of this population. Uh, then let's rewrite my function. So 100 times E raised to the point 0.045 times t. Well, um, since I'm trying to solve for t then, I could do this with a graph, but I think right now I want to solve algebraically. It shouldn't be too bad to do. So I'll start by dividing both sides by 100. Uh, 300 divided by 100 gets me 3. Uh, if you watched our videos about tripling your money, we talk a little bit about why it doesn't really matter how much you start with. The time it takes to triple will always be the same. So there's that 3 that we used in that video. Uh, to finish this problem, then, I need to get rid of my base of E. To do that, I'll take the natural log of both sides. So using a calculator to find the natural log of 3, that comes out to be approximately 1.099. Uh, the natural log of E cancels out and leaves behind just that exponent, so 0 0.045 T. Uh, once I divide both sides by 0 0.045, it turns out that the time it takes my population to triple is about 24.4 days.